And now we are going to discuss about design build. So, what is design build? It is a system of project delivery. A more clearer description about design build are one contractor is responsible for both the design and construction. Designer and contractor are either from the same company or through a joint venture. The contracts are often structured on a cost plus with a guaranteed maximum price GMP basis. The savings below the GMP is often shared by the owner and contractor. Profit from the good communication that occur between both teams, the design team and construction team. What is the advantage of design build? Owner will no longer need to referee disagreements between the designer and the contractor because they are working together under the same contract. So now, we can see that design-built method is more convenient than design-bid-built method. The design-built method have like a one-way work, like a one unified flow or arrangement of work, as you can see from this diagram. This arrangement allows easier incorporation of changes due to change scope or unforeseen conditions. This method also helps in transforming the relationship between the designers and contractors into an alliance in which a project can be completed much faster, more cost effective and with fewer change orders. Next is Construction Management or CM. CM is a method where the construction manager acts as a general contractor to assist the owner during the design and construction process. The construction manager also provides professional management assistance to the owner prior to construction, offering schedule, budget, and constructability advice that helps the owner to design a more constructible project.
name is Abu Bakar and I will explain some few topics on contracting methods. Now, looking at design development and performance specification, now what does this tell us? This tells us that owner organization who is responsible or who has the capability to design but cannot design the entire project can solicit bids. But this also tells us that the system specification is written to describe the system rather than focusing on how the system will work. Going to our next topic, which is design, build, operate, or build, operate, transfer, BOT, or build, list, manage, transfer, BLMT. What does this tell us? This tells us that the contractor or developer is the one responsible for the plan, but also is a very selective when it comes to projects. For example, the project dealing under this topic is uh, athletic arenas and water treatment plants. Now going to our next topic, which is key decision for project contracting method. As you can see, number of contractors, one to many contracts, selection criteria, price to qualification, relation of owner and contractor, agent to vendor, and term of payment is lump sum to policy. Now, what are the conclusions we have on this topic of contracting methods? We really see that the contractor, the developer, and everyone in charge in the entire project should really understand what the contracting method is telling.